Hey YouTubers, I just wanted to try to save you a little bit of time and money. Something I didn't get the advantage of. My truck was having a problem. This is a 2012 Ram 1500 Sport. And uh, I would hit the key and it would click. Uh, sometimes I've heard you know the starter going bad like that or different things. I'm not a mechanic, it's just, I'm a backyard mechanic. So my first uh, thought was, that the battery is old, we'll put a new battery in. Put a new battery in and started right up. Seemed like it solved the problem for a few starts and then it started clicking again. It wasn't a solenoid click, it was the starter would just hit and engage but it wouldn't turn the engine over. So after the new battery didn't solve the problem, I went and got a new starter. I put the new starter on and it started up again just fine. Uh, the next morning we came out, hit the key, and it just it it clicked, it chunked in, it hit in, but it wouldn't start. It wasn't a solenoid sound. So I started looking on YouTube and different places, and they said it might be the um, solenoid relay that's located in this box here. I could open this up and show you just in case you want to see where the cell. This is where the solenoid relay is. And if you go to the parts store, they claim the 2012 doesn't have a solenoid relay, but it does. Anyway, uh, Napa cross-matched the reference, the number for the solenoid relay, put a new solenoid relay in, and nothing. Now, this problem got progressively worse. Um, it would Sometimes you'd hit the key two times, and it would start up. Sometimes you'd hit the key, it would start right up. But the last couple days, uh, I hit the key multiple times, it still wouldn't start. Today, to get it to start, I hit the key 12 times, finally got it started to get it home. So when I got it home, it just sounded it sounded like possibly a ground. So I went back underneath, I checked all the connections to the starter, everything looked good. Come back up and my son suggested, well, maybe the battery terminals need to clean. So we cleaned both battery terminals and put uh, the dielectric grease on them like you should anyway. Um, Hooked everything back up, still nothing. The last thing I could think of is there is a ground that comes right back to here, and that ground goes into the frame. It comes right off of the, the uh, negative pole. There it comes back here. There's two wires that come off. Um, it splits right here into a connector. This one goes down into a harness, and this one comes back up into the uh, ground to the, to the frame of the truck. Uh, took it off. It did not seem corroded. It didn't seem bad at all. And I thought, here we are at, at another dead end. But just for the sake of doing it, I took it off. I sanded it down with some emery cloth, all the surfaces. I put more of the dielectric grease on it, put it back together, went in, boom, and it started right up. And I'll just go ahead and hit one more time to make sure that everything's good. But we already started it about three times. And the, or the first key turn, so here goes the next one. And uh, we've had complete success because this was getting so bad where you, every single time you hit, had to hit the key multiple times. So uh, after a new battery and a new starter and uh, a lot of headaches and a new uh, relay for the solenoid, it, it was something as simple as cleaning that, this ground that goes to the, the frame. Hope that helped you. I hope that saved you some money. Have a good day. Okay, YouTube, so I'm back. Well, the problem I thought was fixed wasn't fixed. We started the truck multiple times, took it outside to park it, went to start it again, and it didn't start. Well, then I called a, a real mechanic, my cousin, who's a real live mechanic, and we started talking about this little relay right here and possible problems with the actual circuit board in the in the fuse box. So what I did is I popped these two holders off of the relay so that you could open the relay up. And I'm going to grab a flashlight here. <clears throat> and as you can see, once you're in that relay, there are there's a little tab, it almost looks like the old old style point system. If you remember the cards used to have points. And that's... 
that's little points right there. So he suggested to check the panel, the fuse box out, is to uh, go ahead and install that with the cover off. And then I think I have to turn the key on. And then I just take a screwdriver and go in there. And push down on his points. It's turning over the starter, but there's something that won't allow the truck to start under normal circumstances. So after I did that, um, I've tried to get it to repeat the non-starting. And for some reason, it starts every time again. Uh, I'll try it for a couple days and see if there's any result. I don't know if there is something strange about the relay or what. You never know what kind of bugs you, you get into when you get into this. I did try a brand new relay that didn't work in there, but both uh, Advanced Auto Parts and Napa said that, that re there is no relay for this year truck 2012, which obviously there is. So they gave me a, a cross match on the part number that was for a 2011 Ram, and that could have been a problem too. So it may not have been the right relay, it might not have worked right, but uh, as, as for right now, apparently it's starting. So I'm gonna put that back on top of there. And these little, these little uh, bosses come down and hold those, those um, relays in place so that should hold the cover on for me. And I'll go ahead and start it one more time with the key. And if it, can, if it continues to start, you won't hear from me again. I don't know how that would have fixed the problem, but as for right now, it seems to fix the problem. If I jump in the truck in the next couple days and it doesn't start, then we'll do another amendment to this uh, and try to figure out why. But hopefully some of the things I did help you out.